Hey guys, this is Barry with Fire Nice Outdoors. Welcome back to the channel. Electric has sent me their cargo bike. This is probably the biggest amp hour battery bike I have ever reviewed. It's got two batteries, 28 amp hours. They say it goes between 75 and 150 miles. You can get this in for one battery, I think for $1,400, or you get the two battery for $1,700. This is the two battery, which is a great price for as far as it goes. I've done all kinds of reviews on different bikes and this is the biggest one. I'm gonna do my best not to kill this bike. It is extremely long. You don't really have to put any of this together, which is really cool. The fact that you're not having to install, put all this together. Oh, cool. That's, I thought that was plastic. That's actually metal. There's a reason why they're cheap. It's because I put plastic, wow, plastic on things, but a little box of stuff here. Let's get this thing unpacked and then we've got a three day trip we need to do with this thing, which is really cool. I'm super excited, never been there before, but it's on the Palmetto Trail, which is neat. So let's get this thing opened up. Before you go opening this up, get you some cutters, like wire cutters, there's some wire ties you're gonna have to cut all over the place. Warning labels everywhere. Just kind of poking through everything. You don't even have to install a light. The front fender, and this is nice. this you can adjust this just the way you like it and that can lock down that's insane I like that the levers are perfect wow this is insane it's got a warning do not exceed the maximum of rear you can put people in the back here This is awesome. Two freaking batteries, dude. Just cutting all the little tabs off, protecting the derailleur. Got these little plastic things on here to protect your feet. Um, Cause you can have a pasture back here and um, their feet won't get inside there. I don't want to take these off just yet. Let's see here, if we take this off. Boom, use that. There's nothing cheap about this, it's crazy little cover off. Let's see what's in this box. Probably a seat, charger, so charger, and seat. Nice. Decent little seat. Seat warning tag. Make sure the seat height is correct. All right. That is a huge seat. I mean, there's no installation here. You're not having to put on the handlebars. You're not having to do anything. Just put a seat on. Huh. Really nice. There's two in here. These are not cheap. They're not screw on. Left, right. Just left. <coughs> they just snap on. That's awesome. Easy. Charger. What size is this? A uh, two amp. These are four, 14 amp hour, two of them. Largest mileage bike I've ever reviewed. The Hemingway, that was 20 amp hour. That went 55 miles at Pedal Assist 2. And then the Explorer that I did, uh, Torx Explorer, the blue one. Uh, I'm posting all these up here if you wanted to poke your head at them. I did 
almost 190 miles with that one. This is really long, which is nice. Some of them give you a short one. I went 55 miles. Both of those did 55 miles. Um, all right, I need to fix that. Take this up. secure before uh, just making sure this is tight before you take off I'm six foot this supposedly is supposed to fit all kinds of people it's not terrible flip this up that's it About like right there so just push this button push that button and lift up that feels good See the kickstand is a little bit funky. It's um, this is like a cargo bike. I, I wouldn't want to load this with it on one kickstand. If you have the, the bigger kickstand like this, then you can load it, and you're not having to worry about the things falling. It's a, a seven-speed Shimano hydraulic brakes. There's not a lot of cheap about this. This is crazy. It sells it for so inexpensive. I guess you must be 18 years old to ride this. Make sure you wear a helmet. I'll take those off. With e-bikes, they should be hydraulic brakes anyway. They've got, you know, power to them. Here's the keys. They give you two sets of these, so I imagine one and one. There we go. So there's those. Make sure front wheel installed. Just make sure that everything's locked down tight. Come on. There it is. Wow. Pretty bike. Let me get this cleaned up and we'll be right back. Okay. So I got to figure it out. I had to look on my phone. But what's throwing me off is this right here. Because this will fit in here, but the you don't want the light in here, but that's what this is for. You move this light, you unscrew this, and you screw it right in here, which makes complete sense. So I'm gonna install that right there. Super simple. Let's get this out of the way. These are all big. Nice, all right. I like these T-handles. Grab that little box again. All right, boom. Boom. All right. Get this out of the way. It's got a nut on the back. That work. That this will work. to tighten all of these down at one time until you get all your screws in. Just finger tight will be fine. Cool looking bike, isn't it? Boom, and one more. I feel like I'm saying boom a lot. Not something I always say. All right, there, and there. I met these guys in um, Quartzsite, Arizona, right next to California. I was doing a show there selling my own products and they were selling not this bike but um their bikes there like out of the tractor trailer loads man they were just selling them i was really impressed so the next thing we're gonna do i'm gonna weigh this thing down uh, we do got a cold front coming in i'm gonna bring a hot tent a stove a grill to cook with even those things go 70 to 150 miles i'm gonna put some weight on this thing i might even pull the trailer i guess that's the next thing Put a cooler up here. Let's just get some stuff out. I got a little pad to sit on. Here's the tent. This is the hot tent. Inside the hot tent, a little mat to keep my feet 
maybe some lights run off of USB. Here's the pole for the tent. There's the stove for the tent. So it's calling for rain. Some, this is a, what's it called? A bed rack, whatever, that gets you off the ground. There's a uh, table, sweet chair, comfortable chair. And you can use this to insulate your chair if you're cold on your back. You can put this on there and keep you keep your butt warm. A little cooking set and a towel, a pillow, cubbies, boom, boom. This is where I'll put my clothes in. Sorry for the noise. I turned the AC on. I'm dying. But air mattress. It's insulated to keep me warm. Some toilet paper, hot hands just in case something's crazy. A little fire starter, wipes. Like, uh, what do they call it? Dude wipes. Water filtration system. With can, uh, Ken and I, these are awesome. Coffee, cup, and a, a burner. Toothbrush and mouthwash. Beard comb. Keep things looking great. Uh, coffee and a lighter. And a little two-prong plug-in. Um, i try to get some more coffee. Super lightweight bag. I think it's uh, a Nina. Saw for cutting wood. The big boy axe gloves for protection. We're gonna bring this so we can maybe bake some bread in the woods. Here's my stove, my outdoor stove, so I don't burn anything on the ground. So that side here's got this out of firebox.com. A little flipper, uh, tongs, soap, blah blah, cutting board. Super cool stuff. So I'm bring my cooler. And the top will have my camera gear, and the bottom will have the, the groceries. That'll fit right there. And I'm bringing my, I have not reviewed this or anything yet, but the Bushcraft Spain oiled canvas tarp. I'm gonna bring that with me because it is gonna call for rain, so I'm not stuck out there. I can look outside. I'll, I'll put the tarp in some kind of figuration. That's coming with me. And I'm bringing the all power, 15 watt solar power generator and this will be cool too check this out kodak projector with a tripod remote and then this is to my cell phone to hdmi so i plug it in it mirrors everything i'm doing that right there and then all my camera gear let's build this and see what it looks like the only thing i'm not going to do is put clothes in there all right well, I'm gonna put this bad boy to the test that's heavy Some of this I'm gonna to have to put in dry bags. Like, I don't really care about that. This will be fine. Definitely want this in a dry bag. This in a dry bag. This. Everything else should be fine without a dry bag.
such a cool company. Postcraft Spain. Gives you a little bit of a drawing. Thank you, Barry. That's awesome. Awesome people. So, I'm gonna put this in a dry bag. My plates. In a pan to cook with. This will be for baking. I got a little hole right here. I want to set up stuff. Perfect. Look at that. Boom. Oh. Alright. This might be a bad idea. This is my bed. Go right there. So I've got two of these. Like this. Hello. Bag. I'll need this has that Kodak projector has its own battery. It's good for like two hours, but I'm gonna bring this just in case that dies. I think that's it. It might be smart if this is slide inside here. bed stuff is completely dry. So that go right there. I can strap that. This is for my clothes. I can bring this with me just in case. That's 15 amp hours. That should have no problem. At least charging one of the batteries. If things got weird, I honestly don't think so. It's only 26 miles. Camera gear and then food on the bottom. That's cool. Huh. Might want to keep this safe. I wonder if this uh, would fit in here. I could put it up front. Cause I got other one of these. Is that so I just got to load this up with my clothes and strap that I got something here check this out got these little cool straps that are motorcycle straps but they've got little clip uh, loops on each side what you can do a lark's head slide this through just like this onto the pole just to see if that's the pole just like that and one side is bungee and one side is hard and this is the adjustable side but that'll work right here just like this um, and we'll just crisscross it
button where you put your finger. Dude, that's just crisscross it. That ain't going nowhere. And then I can wax these down. I think I'm ready. 26 mile trip. Thanks guys for watching this. If you want to see more like this, thumbs up, hit the little notification, and I will see you on the next one. Appreciate y'all.